Point on the car. Check in with me. And do your job. Hey y'all, it's Old Country and welcome back into another video today. I hope y'all are having a great Wednesday and today we are going to be looking at the top 5 reasons I love Planet Zoo. The next DLC is nearly upon us and that means we are almost done with our third full year of Planet Zoo DLC releases. I thought it would be just kind of a fun thing to do going over some of the reasons I love Planet Zoo and why I think it's lasted as long as it has and is still in my opinion going strong. But before we get into the video remember to go follow me over on Instagram at oldcountryyt. We post daily over there, have fun stories and interactions, we do polls and questions and it's just a great old fun time so make sure you go follow me over there. Also make sure to go check out my Old Country Clips channel where I post YouTube shorts and soon shorter clips from my main channel. We are almost at 100 subscribers over there so go make sure to subscribe and grow that channel as well. I just posted a really funny kind of reaction video over there so make sure y'all go check that one out. So coming down into our number 5 spot in today's video, this is going to have to be the music. One of my biggest passions in life is music. I love music. I love playing many different instruments, including my favorite, the guitar. And no matter what I do in life, music is always just a huge part of it. It's why I was so excited when Planet Zoo released the trailer music. And of course, probably my favorite thing they have done since the launch of the game, and this might be controversial to some, but them releasing Sounds of Summer is like one of my favorite things they've ever done, including all the DLCs they've released. I'm a huge lo-fi lover, it's just what I listen to most of the time when I'm building or making videos, and for Planet Zoo to release an entire album of lo-fi, it just really made my year, and if we're being honest, it made my entire life. <laughs> but the music doesn't just stop there. Ever since, I believe, I, it was the first gameplay trailer, I think, for Planet Zoo, where they revealed Ursidae Joy, I just was, I was immediately hooked. Like I said, besides Sounds of Summer, they have their main album they have their main album called You Me and Other Animals which is just perfect considering it released the best song in Planet Zoo history Elephant Memories which I originally discovered during the beta when you paused the game believe it or not I wasn't the only one who loved that song I remember there was a huge following behind it waiting for it to be released with the main game it just goes to show how much of an impact the music of Planet Zoo has had on the game and the community at large I love it and I just could not have not put it on this list it has impacted me more than i probably even know so enjoy sounds of summer as the background music throughout the rest of the video now coming down into our number four spot we have the community as a Planet Zoo YouTuber, I could not miss the opportunity to put this one on the list. I've met so many of y'all, read y'all's great and sometimes crazy hot takes on the forums and on my YouTube comments, and just interacted with y'all on live streams and Instagram and on my videos and the forums like I mentioned earlier. Sure, the community doesn't always agree on things, but that's kind of the beauty of it all. Basically like 99% of this community is just amazing. Obviously we have our few oddballs like that whole Sounds of Summer livestream fiasco incident thing, but I mean come on, what community doesn't have a Eugene or two? But not only is the player base community amazing, the devs and community managers that make all of this possible too are truly amazing as well. I've praised them on so many occasions in the past on different podcasts and whatnot, but for those who don't tune into the podcast, basically what I think of the community managers is basically the world of them. I throughout the years have been through many different gaming communities and never have I been involved in one that has community managers like Planet Zoo. Weekly live streams, commenting on forum posts, social media interactions, it's literally everything I expect from a great community team. I've said this before, but it all started when people like Elt, Francesca, and Jens and others were brought on board. And with Tim being the lead community manager, everything just feels right. So many other gaming communities have such a lack of a community team where they don't interact with people and barely post or respond to questions and it just shows within the game and the hype and the community and everything. 
feedback is crucial and it truly makes a good game turn into a great game. And with a great community team, amazing devs, and a great player base, everything about the community of Planet Zoo just makes you glad you decided to get into the game. And that's why the community comes in at our number four spot today. Now, coming down into our number three spot today, we have attention to detail. Finally, we talk about some gameplay aspects of why I love Planet Zoo, and I promise you the rest of this list is gameplay related. But the reason this game succeeds, well, a big part of why it does is attention to detail. Now this is kind of a broad topic, and the next two spots on this list also could kind of fit within this, so I'm going to keep this real narrow in what I talk about. For example, I want to talk about in-game textures. One of my favorite things about the attention to detail in this game is the foliage. Everything is so lively, bright, and colorful. It's like reality on steroids at times, which I love. The game can almost be de best described as a more vibrant and amplified version of reality. Everything is built to perfection. The foliage choices and textures really help bring everyone's zoo to life. And one of the biggest things I can suggest to players looking to up their building game is to not be afraid of using lots of foliage. But that's a deeper topic for another video. Also, another very underrated aspect of the game that has huge attention to detail is the weather. Whether it's the rain or snow or clouds or the sun shining in, also, sorry, no pun intended, I didn't mean to say weather. The weather is truly in game a sight to behold. Now, I know when you're building, the rain can sometimes get really annoying, just like if, if y'all play Minecraft and when it starts raining, that gets really annoying too and you can't really turn that off. Just, just me I don't know but when you're just touring your zoo and looking at all the things you have made sometimes it's just really fun to sit back and look at the rain falling upon your zoo and how the animals react and also the idea of seeing your zoo covered in snow even though it's in the middle of the jungle there's just something about that the weather effects are truly amazing and a great example of attention to detail. And that's why attention to detail is coming in at our number three spot. Now, like I said, these next two spots do kind of expand upon this, but the next spot is more of a self-made attention to detail. And that's why coming down into our number two spot, we have being able to build in high detail. The beauty of this game is like it basically allows you to build anything you want. With a little practice, well, actually a really huge learning curve and a little blood, sweat, and tears, and mostly sweat and tears, you can really allow your imagination to run wild and build anything you want. I've seen things from Star Wars to Lord of the Rings to huge statues, wonders of the world recreated, real life zoo remakes, fantasy zoos, and just so much more. What you can do in this game when you really put your mind to it is incredible. And all of this is possible due to the hundreds if not thousands of pieces currently in the game. With packs like Europe, Twilight, and Conservation adding in some of the best and most reusable pieces in the game, you can really let your inner zoo builder run wild. My favorite thing to do in game is to make the most realistic habitats possible and also try to make enclosures from the real world into Planet Zoo. That's really where I get the most enjoyment. I don't really get into the whole backstage and architecture thing, mostly because, well, not because I don't like it and not because it's also, it's also pretty necessary to make realistic zoos but it's mostly because I don't, I'm not very good at it in my opinion. It's definitely not my strong suit. I shouldn't say I'm not good, but enclosure building and working with the in-game foliage, just making different palettes and making different in-game gardens and stuff, I just really enjoy that aspect of the game, and it wouldn't be possible without this game giving us the options for that level of detailed building. Also, the in-game mechanics really help with this. For the game to allow us to move things on each axis is just incredible. It allows for an extreme level of customization and giving us, like I said earlier, that insane attention to detail, especially within the things that we decide to build. That is why building and the ability to build in such high detail comes in at our number two spot. Now, before we get into our number one spot tonight, I just want to take this time to thank y'all for watching this video. It truly means the world, all the support you give me. 
If you like this kind of content, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. We have a new zoo project coming up real soon here, and also the new DLC stuff coming up from Frontier tomorrow or today, depending on when you're watching this. So make sure to turn that bell notification on because we will be covering everything here as soon as it comes out. So stay tuned and let's get into that number one spot in today's video, baby. So coming down into our number one spot today, this has to be the main feature of the game, the animals. The game wouldn't be what it is without the animals. Most of the animals have insane quality and attention to detail. Even some of the animals that the community feels aren't the greatest, I still think have some amazing animations and sounds and behaviors. Take the Bornean orangutan, for example. I know the fur isn't quite up to par with other animals, but the orangutan itself is still a very enjoyable animal on all other levels. And hopefully tomorrow we get that orangutan brachiation, fingers crossed. But even taking a look at some other details of other animals or just all animals in general that use their enrichment items or deep dive, climbing, brachiation, animal calls, different behaviors like sniffing and down to even the littlest details like the little Minecraft poops from the wombat. All these details of all these animals are just incredible. The animals are the heart and soul of the game and Frontier does just such an amazing job with them. And just the thought that we are right around the corner of receiving more is just crazy to think about. I love the animals in Planet Zoo and that's why animals have to come in at our number one spot today. So with that, our top five video ends. Please let me know in the comments, why do you love Planet Zoo? Let me know what you think of the video and this list, and also put your final predictions for tomorrow. I would love to hear what you have to say. Fingers crossed for the avian animal pack. It's been Old Country, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Have a good night, y'all.